Hi everybody, uh, thanks for watching another video. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, about answering some questions that you guys had about our sand separation system, about the last video that was posted. Uh, the first one that I want to talk about was a question about uh, sand lanes. So for those that are uh, not familiar, sand lanes are uh, another way to separate sand from manure and basically what it is is a uh, long channel that's got a little bit of a slope to it and the idea is that the manure is pumped through this channel, the sand settles out because of the minimum slope, the manure uh, flows on and then goes to the manure, manure storage and you come in with a payloader or a skid steer and remove the sand out of that lane, uh, stack it and then it dries and you reuse it. Uh, there's a few reasons why I'm not a or I think that's not really a good fit for our operation and uh, those reasons are uh, in the winter time if it's cold you need a lot of sand to be able to use a sand lane because you're stacking that sand and it needs to sit for quite a while and needs to be turned all the time to get it to dry properly and it would either we'd either have to have a very large heated building to do that or you need to have seven or eight months worth of sand on hand because you won't be able to use that sand in the winter time because as soon as you stack that sand outside it'll just freeze solid like a rock uh, that's that's one reason why sand lanes are um, not a good fit for our operation and another is just the the footprint of the of the whole system uh, yeah, you need a lot of space for a sand lane, you need a lot of space for sand storage and all we need for storage in our system is uh, inside this building, this heated building and I kind of showed you guys that already so all, all the sand that we have in storage right now to be used as bedding is this right here and that little bit that's sitting there that's come out of our separators here in the la since this morning so we, we don't need any extra sand storage. We, we are, we're able to put our sand back in our stalls uh, pretty much immediately after separating it. We're with a sand lane, even in the summertime, that sand needs to sit for quite a while and needs to be turned multiple times in order to get that sand dry enough to be able to put it back in your stalls. So those are the, the reasons that sand lanes don't really fit in our operation. There were also a couple questions about the uh, auger that we used to transport the manure from our barns to the, our separation building, our sand manure separation building. So this, you can see this, uh, this auger right here, it runs all the way down to the far end of the, our north barn there, which is, uh, I'd mentioned is about 300 feet and this is actually two separate augers, so one and that far barn is pushing and this one right here is pulling towards the pit. Uh, had questions on maintenance. Uh, so there's these, there's sections of auger, they're about 12 feet long. So every 12 feet there's uh, a bearing and then a shaft with bolts that's coupling two augers together. There There is some maintenance here to these uh, bearings. The augers themselves, they, uh, most of our augers are still original so they're the ones that were put in 12 years ago, a lot of those are still in. Some we've uh, taken out and repaired the ends on them because the bolt holes get sloppy. Uh, the bearings we replaced probably three years ago or so. So they, they lasted not quite 10 years, the original bearings, but some wear more than others. And I think a lot of that has to do with uh, in the winter time, the concrete's uh, freezing up a little bit in some spots and others it's not, so then the auger's not sitting quite as straight as it should. So we have some some bearings that will get more, more wear than others, but it's not too terrible. We've kind of figured out over the last uh, however many years that we need to keep an eye on them because it's a lot easier just to go through them twice a year, replace bolts if needed, replace bearings if needed, and make sure everything is good and tight rather than wait for something to break and then you have to fix it because usually it breaks when it's really cold and the auger is half full of manure and it's not so fun. So I've, I've had to do that a few times so we've kind of learned our lesson uh, with those augers there. Uh, we've never had any issues with them freezing. Uh, the, the barns that the cows are in, don't the manure doesn't freeze but the, 
what we call our connecting alleys, our, our uh, alleys in between the barns, those will freeze, but we've never had an auger freeze, but I don't think you'd want to leave a couple inches of manure in it for a long time, because then more than likely it would freeze and then you're going to have uh, a lot of issues. There are also, also some questions about just general maintenance in this uh, room, or I, I perceive them that that's kind of what uh, they were asking about or what you were asking about. Uh, for the most part, uh, we do some preventative maintenance in here, so I grease our manure pumps every day, uh, like on our, uh, our uh, manure, solid manure separator. We uh, rotate screens, replace screens if needed, uh, replace the auger if needed. Uh, as far as these sand separators go, we don't really have any big issues with them. We, we had some issues originally with the the center shaft breaking we've we've went through a couple augers but we haven't had any here in the last probably five years so they must have made them a little bit heavier than they did originally and yeah other than that it's just uh that cyclone up there keep an eye on that because eventually there's a there's a liner in there so that the sand doesn't wear through it Eventually that liner will wear out, but it'll it'll last for more than a year before you need to you can take it down send it in and have it relined uh, We just put this pump in so I'm not sure yet what we're gonna have for maintenance on it I'm told It'll last us at least a, or it'll be at least a year before we need to do anything on it as far as impellers or housing this is also a, a lined pump so it's got like a, a rubber liner inside it to help prevent uh, the sand from wearing through the metal so this this pump actually replaces this pump here and that agitator there so we're not using this pit anymore this was this was probably the one area where we had the most maintenance we would replace the agitator and the gearbox on that agitator the, the prop and the gearbox we'd replace that once a year at least and on this pump we would replace the impeller the housing and the, the bottom bearing assembly probably every six months or so. The housing sometimes would last longer, but the impeller and the bearing we would replace quite often because the sand would uh, wear on it so, so hard. Uh, yeah, I think, that kind of, I think that covers the main questions that you guys had that I want to kind of further explain. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, or I hope I explained it in a, in a way that you were looking for. If not, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to explain it a little bit better if I need to. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next week.